Happy holidays from Drinks Made Easy. Today we're taking a look at an eggnog recipe, specifically the Jerry Thomas eggnog as expressed both in his book and in Dave Wondrich's Imbibe. There have been a lot of different variations on this, especially because the original recipe calls for Santa Cruz rum, which isn't really a class of rum anymore, and during that time there wasn't a lot of regulation, so it could have been a really kind of weird and funky rum, but not nearly as weird and funky as some of our relatives this time of year. You're a little animal. <laughs> you guys single? Jerry Thomas eggnog, you'll start with just a little bit less than one ounce of simple syrup. Now some of the old recipes will call for one tablespoon or one uh, heaping teaspoon of sugar with one heaping teaspoon of cold water to dilute the sugar, but really it's just a lot easier to pre-dilute that uh, simple syrup and if you're making a lot of these or you want to add a little bit of extra sweetness, making some simple syrup is going to save you a lot of time. Next we're going to add one ounce of spiced rum and one ounce of brandy. Now for these two you could use a uh, non-spiced rum, I think spiced rum adds a little bit more flavor, and you could use a cognac if you have a nice aged cognac that you enjoy, or a uh, kind of a punchier cognac, but I do feel that generally brandies with a little bit more flavor are going to just give you a better cocktail. And next we're going to add three ounces of whole milk, one whole egg, whoop, a little bit of a splash and cap that off into a shaker tin with just a couple of cubes of ice. Shake it until you basically can't hear those ice cubes anymore. And then you can just pour this right into the glass of your choice. Since we were only using five small cubes of ice and I shook it until they were completely dissolved, you don't really have to worry about any bits of ice because it's all been integrated in. And you have this lovely foam. And then on top, Create a little bit of fresh nutmeg. And easy as that, you have the Jerry Thomas eggnog. This is a great winter cocktail. The simple ingredients all blend together into something that is easy drinking and is not overly filling or heavy. I get light aspects of the spiced rum rounded out by the cognac, and it's just delightful the foam that comes from integrating that whole milk along with that whole egg. This is also something where you can play around with different alcohols. So if you have particular ones that you enjoy integrating into your eggnogs at home or a different way to make the Jerry Thomas, let us know what you think. Cheers and drinks made easy. Thank you.